Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel, and boy oh boy are the E3 leaks and rumors going absolutely bananas. That's right, in exactly one month from today, E3 of 2021 will officially be going. It is the return of E3 as we've discussed over the recent weeks taking a year off last year in 2020 because of the whole pandemic and it's coming back and it's now all digital. There are some exciting things that they're starting to announce about how the digital E3 show will go on. And I actually think a lot of it sounds kind of cool, I'm personally hopeful. And as we've also been discussing, there have been a lot of rumors and leaks and discussions, public, behind the scenes, all over the place as far as what might be happening or shown at E3 from all different companies. But of course, most importantly, Nintendo, where the most exciting rumors and conversations are usually happening. Also, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I know most of you guys who watch my channel are. That's our focus here. And let me tell you guys, things are going absolutely wild in terms of rumors and leaks about Nintendo at the show. What I wanna focus on today are two specific rumors about two specific franchises. One is kind of a bit of a newer revelation over the past couple of months. The other one, is fairly old. The public knowledge goes back about a year or so. And again, I say knowledge as in knowledge of the rumor, not knowledge about any factual game that we actually know about. And some of that information goes back even a little bit before that. As always, before we dive too much deeper into this E3 leaky rumor kind of topic, I do like to remind you that I am always trying to grow the channel here on Rule of Two Review. I'm hoping to cross 17,000 subscribers on the channel before the end of 2021. I am pretty darned close. I upload several times every single week, covering all things Nintendo, all things Metroid, and all things gaming. So, as you watch the video, if you seem to like what I'm doing and what you hear, then hopefully you will consider subscribing to the channel. So obviously, it's no secret what it is that I'm talking about today. We're discussing Donkey Kong, and we're discussing, surprise, surprise, Metroid. Obviously, there's been a lot of discussions about both franchises recently, and there's also been a couple of known leaker personalities that have also been kind of getting a lot of this information out there. And again, there's tons of stuff all over the place, you know, that people know or don't know or what have you about what's been being discussed, and it is certainly very exciting. Obviously, Samus Hunter has been the one most recently in the news, and I've discussed that person's information over the course of the past couple of videos that I've been making. Plenty of other people have been discussing it as well, and it's been gaining more and more traction, which has people more excited. Also, somebody who goes back to last year would be Zippo, who's been posting some blog updates about what they claim to know, and both of these people have a decent to good track record, so that's part of what's made the discussions from each person pretty exciting. Naturally, as I like to remind you guys that no matter how credible these people may be, no matter how much these leaks or rumors make sense, and even my own personal belief in them for a variety of reasons, we don't know anything until it is official. To be fair, someone has a good track record, that's great. But until Nintendo says, hey, here is a real game that will be releasing, we don't know, so we have to remember that before we dive any deeper into what they are saying. First, I wanna focus on Donkey Kong because it's really exciting to think that Donkey Kong might actually finally be coming back after a huge hiatus where the last game, Tropical Freeze, released on the Wii U back in February of 2014, that is so, so long ago. And now we're finally understanding that this year, which is the 40th anniversary, by the way, could finally see the return of Donkey Kong and that at E3, Nintendo might show it off. Samus Hunter has been discussing this for a couple of weeks now, and now Zippo has come out and a bigger, more believable rumor officially exists. It seems very likely that Donkey Kong will be showing up at E3. Here is what Zippo actually had to say about what's going on with the game. It's the Big Ape's 40th anniversary, and while I'm not sure how Nintendo is celebrating the occasion, there is a new 2D Donkey Kong game being developed by EPD Tokyo. Retro is obviously busy with other things, so Nintendo has taken it upon themselves to bring DK back in an internal series. Don't expect the country moniker to return, as EPD Tokyo are not interested in making a sequel to games they didn't make. Diddy, Cranky, and the Kremlin crew should all be returning in this installment. It sounds like this game is launching before the end of the year. An E3 announcement seems very likely. They went on to add, Just to reiterate this point again, every person that has told me about this game told me it is a 2D game. Now obviously this is exciting for several reasons, but one of the main reasons is also the fact that Nintendo EPD Tokyo is 
is the same team behind Super Mario Odyssey, which has had a lot of people excited because it makes everyone wonder if it could be a 3D Donkey Kong game. A lot of people want a new 3D Donkey Kong game. I am very open to the idea. I think that that would be great. Also, I think that people hear Mario Odyssey and they envision maybe a similar game structure only in a Donkey Kong game. And that also could be very cool. The idea of huge different open worlds to visit as Donkey Kong with different collectibles to find and things to do. And to be fair, that's not really how things work. Like a team that makes one kind of game doesn't necessarily make that same template for every other game that they make. But it would also be cool to see something like that happen. And maybe that's one of the reasons Nintendo would want EPD to make this game and to bring Donkey Kong back and make it stand out and be different from what the Donkey Kong Country 2D games were. However, as you saw, Zippo is really doubling down on the idea that this is a 2D game, which I will admit, you guys, makes me just as excited as a 3D game. I am a sucker for 2D platformers, and more than that, Nintendo's 2D platformers are just gaming perfection for me, personally. More often than not, they've made a couple that really don't land with me too much, but in general, and especially in the Donkey Kong series, for example, they've never made a 2D platforming Donkey Kong game that I don't love. Which means basically we're talking about all of the Donkey Kong Country games. I just think they're so great. And so even if Retro isn't making the next 2D Donkey Kong game, if it is a team as talented as EPD Tokyo, I mean, come on, like, there's no reason for me not to be excited. But again, Zippo was saying this is a 2D game, not a 3D game, and they even made another update earlier this morning. I have to update this again in order to inform people who didn't know this or didn't do proper research to find this tidbit out. We know for a fact that EPD Tokyo are making a 2D game, linking, of course, a job post from Nintendo. It's even referred to as a, quote, 2D action game, a.k.a. a platformer. It also doesn't take a genius to realize that you're also getting a follow-up to Super Mario Odyssey sooner rather than later. That's also well into development. 3D World Bowser's Fury was just a side thing. EPD Tokyo are very capable of doing multiple projects at once. So of course that continues to both muddy the waters, but then also bring things back into focus a little bit. Also with the reminder that everything we're talking about, even if we maybe want to trust these people and these leakers, someone like Zippo, it's still speculation until Nintendo confirms it. So, you know, I like diving into this stuff and this person is starting to say things like they're matter of fact. And even if I tend to believe them, it ain't real until Nintendo says. So, you know, I'm not letting that part elude me as I continue to talk to you guys about what they're saying here. And so Zippo does purposefully call out Super Mario Odyssey, trying to remind people that, hey, you're hearing about EPD team, and so we're all thinking about Mario Odyssey and them also making a Donkey Kong game. And they're reminding you that, you know, that doesn't mean that it's going to be a 3D Donkey Kong game, and it's also possible that they are making a follow-up to Odyssey, which, I, as I even discussed in my recent video, I think a lot of us believe a Mario Odyssey sequel makes a lot of sense and very likely could be somewhere on the horizon. Maybe even to be revealed at E3, which could be very exciting. And so at the end of the day, when it comes to Donkey Kong, I mean, I don't know. I tend to believe this, man. There's been discussions for months now about a possible Donkey Kong game coming and the fact that it's the 40th anniversary. We're all very big on the, the anniversary hype because of Mario's 35th celebration last year. And this year, at least for Nintendo, having Metroid, Zelda, and Donkey Kong also have big anniversaries. It just seems like there's too much all coming together to be a big anniversary kind of year. And E3 would be a great time to celebrate these anniversaries for any of these franchises. A Donkey Kong game, man, I want it so badly. I don't mind that Retro wouldn't be making it. I'm obviously happy about what they're doing instead, working on Metroid Prime 4, and that's fine for me. EPD Tokyo is incredibly talented. Mario Odyssey isn't my favorite Mario game, but they still did a fantastic job. They're very, very capable. And whether this Donkey Kong game is a 2D or a 3D game, I'm really excited to see what it could be. So I'm tending to believe there's a great chance we're going to see a Donkey Kong game revealed at E3 next month. Now, obviously, this is the more exciting and interesting part, just to me personally, and I think also to a lot of you, because a lot of Metroid fans follow my channel now because I discuss and break down Metroid so often. It is my favorite franchise. Metroid Prime is my all-time favorite video game. And there are more Metroid discussions and leaks and rumors wrapped up with all of this as well. Zippo continuing to talk about this. Also responsible for a big rumor last year. This is all stuff that, you know, has been going around for maybe longer than a lot of people think. 
I've been discussing this thing for more than a year, probably close to two years. So this is very exciting. Zippo is now continuing to double down on a January 2020 last year rumor that they put out about a possible 2D Metroid game being made. So here is what they recently put out there that's making big news right now and I am very excited to talk about. They say, feels like just yesterday, this is one rumored game I became partially famous for or infamous, depending on who you ask. But yes, a new 2D game from Mercury Steam 200% exists and is in fact done. All Nintendo needs to do at this point is announce it. Nintendo, and by extension Sakamoto, internally is extremely happy about how the title turned out. The only other thing I've heard recently is that the game is running at very smooth 60 frames per second. My hard read slash prediction is an announcement at their E3 Direct next month. Have some patience, bounty hunters, we're almost there. Okay, so what myself and also Zippo here was referencing is that, like I said in January last year, this is even two months before the pandemic really started to shut things down, Zippo came out with a very famous prediction about a new Paper Mario game that is going to return to the roots of the series, as well as a prediction about a 2D Metroid that I believe at the time was referenced to be related to Metroid Fusion. And so that was, that was big news that that came out. And then, of course, very famously, Paper Mario did turn out to be a real game and a real prediction. And so we were also focused on the 2D Metroid prediction. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you would know that way back in even 2019, I was starting to put out the concept of a 2D Metroid game being developed by Nintendo. And it was very extra exciting once a legitimate leak like this, or I shouldn't say a leak yet, it was really more of a rumor, came out about a 2D Metroid game being released. And we obviously haven't heard any updates on Metroid, and partly because of Metroid Prime 4's rocky development, but I'm sure also partly because of the pandemic, things very likely have shifted around. And so now we come back to the here and now, just a month before E3 next month, and we're hearing that the 2D Metroid game really is very likely a real thing. So here's what I'll say, guys. I absolutely believe a 2D Metroid game is being developed. This, There are some things that I've been hearing for quite a while, and so a lot of this stuff is starting to just make more and more sense with both what I've expected as a fan and somebody who's a YouTuber and some things that have just made the rounds over the last, I would say, year and a half or maybe two years. There are, however, a couple of things that Zippo was claiming here that I'm not completely sure of. And I'm not claiming to be the most in the know person. I'm not a leaker. I'm not a scooper. Sometimes some information does come to me that absolutely has happened over the years and I'm very thankful for it, but I'm not the one to report stuff and break and scoop things. That's not my thing. I've told you guys that before. So Zippo very likely knows a lot more than me, but I do feel a little bit weird about the fact that they say Mercury Steam is 200% making this game. I don't really know that it is a Mercury Steam game. To me, while that's possible and very exciting and it makes sense because of the Samus Returns thing, I don't necessarily know that Mercury Steam did move right on to another Metroid game. I hope that it turns out to be what this game is and I would love to see them working on it, but I don't I don't 200% believe it the way Zippo does, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Also, you know, they're confirming Sakamoto's involvement and they're confirming that we already know it's a, it's running at 60 frames per second, which I find weird to claim for a 2D game, but obviously it, it still could definitely make sense. And um, they also say that it's already done and Nintendo is happy with the final product. Nintendo just has to announce it. I don't really yet know if all of that stuff is true. There are almost too many details here and I don't know that they all make sense to me. Obviously, I want all of these details to be true, and I'm not saying that I know they're untrue. I'm just saying it doesn't really jive with what I feel and some things that have gone around in the past. I just want to put that stuff out there. But going back to the big picture and not worrying about the minutia, the big picture is just a new 2D Metroid game being made. And I've just felt and believed this for so long, you guys, and to now start to see and hear more information publicly that makes more sense and tells us it might actually be real is so crazy exciting. And, you know, I, I've laid out for so long why I think it makes sense. Whether it's to give us a new Metroid game to tide us over until Metroid Prime 4 releases, or to continue to celebrate the 30th anniversary, 35th anniversary, it just makes too much sense. How could Nintendo not be interested in doing it? They already made a recent new 2D game with Samus Returns. And even though it was a remake of an existing game, there is so much new, the game almost felt like a brand new game, at least to me. 
And so we've seen that Nintendo still believes and cares in the Metroid franchise. They recently made a 2D game. It's now been a couple of years since that game came out. It's the 35th anniversary. Metroid Prime 4 was delayed until who knows when. So now let's do another 2D Metroid game. I guarantee you the development cycle would be so much shorter on that that probably not too long after Samus Returns was done, they were already working on this new 2D game. And so yes, that could mean that they just continued to work with Mercury Steam and said, hey guys, thanks for making Samus Returns, now let's move you on to a new 2D Metroid game. That is very possible. But I would also be just as excited if a different team was working on it just because I miss 2D Metroid. Now what would a new 2D Metroid game be? That's a whole different conversation because there is a lot of options. Going back to Zippo's public rumor last year in January, they said it was related to Metroid Fusion. So does that mean it's a Metroid Fusion remake? Does that mean it's a Metroid Fusion sequel or a spin-off? Does it mean, you know, Super Metroid rumors have gotten out there? Uh, Samus Returns HD port has gotten out there, stuff like that. Could it be a Metroid 5? Could it be just a different side 2D Metroid game that wouldn't be considered a Metroid 5? I mean, the sky's the limit at this point, man. I don't really believe in the Super Metroid remake that's gotten out there. I don't think Nintendo's ready to do that. Um, I like the idea of it being a Fusion sequel or a Metroid 5. And those don't have to be the same thing. They could be the same thing, but they don't have to be if you really think about it. So I definitely think, and this is one of the reasons I started talking about this way, way back in 2019. I do think it's time to find out what happens next in the Metroid series. Because Metroid Prime 4 is really not going to tell us what happens next. It's only going to follow up what happened at the end of Metroid Prime 3. And that is not at the end of the Metroid timeline. That's fairly early in the Metroid timeline. Metroid Fusion is the farthest in the timeline we've ever been. So Samus's battle with the SAX is really the last battle we've seen her engage in. So what happened after that engagement, we don't know. Is there any fallout from the SAX battle or just the existence of the SAX gene? I 1000% think so. We've got to find out what happens next in a Metroid 5 title. And I really want to believe that that's what this game could be if in fact it really is real. And so at this point, I don't wanna go down the theory rabbit hole anymore with Metroid because I wanna just wait and see if anything actually turns out to be real. And once we have some more information, it'll be a lot more fun to dive into that stuff. I have a ton of theories and thoughts, both on Metroid Prime 4 and a 2D Metroid, you know, or a potential uh, Metroid 5. I have a lot of stuff that I could talk about and it's very exciting. But we'll wait for now. And that kind of brings us to where we are. These are two very exciting rumors, you guys. A Donkey Kong game being shown next month, that would be fantastic. A new Metroid game, 2D or otherwise, oh my god, bring it on. I really think there's a chance. It's the 35th anniversary. Let's freaking go with Metroid, man. I am ready. And so that's what's going on, man. Zippo, Samus Hunter, there's been a lot of discussion about what they seem to know behind the scenes. Maybe none of these come true next month, but I think that there's something to this stuff. So I can't wait for E3 in just a month from now. These are my thoughts and my breakdown. What do you guys think is going on? Please discuss it below. And with that, this video is a wrap. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob, a Rule of Two review, and I'll catch you next time on another video.